coach White of the Panthers back at it after the game on Thursday against Virginia Tech. Orange coming off of a win on Thursday. Out of the corner and the miss. Struck went up and now Lewis. And that's three. She averages almost a double double off the bench. She's nine points, nine rebounds. Tracking a lot of defense. Fight on the glass. Jaldi Tabdi had a chance at it. But now it's Struther leading the break. They'll go back and hit the three. Good passing from the Panthers. It ends up with Green, and she is muddy. So the Orange, as a team, 32% from beyond the arc, 10th in the conference, start the game. That three, Everett, did she hold that finish for a moment as well? She won, and how about this? Her, just Talia Washington in her face, and still Everett gets that one to go, and I believe there was needs a win in the, in the ACC conference, but they have done a good job of really limiting Syracuse to tough shots and low percentage shots, and that's a great look inside by Amber Brown. Pittman on a 7-0 run. Knocked away, driving to the rim, and scoring, Green. Cardoso able to grab it, King missed. Oh, quick hands. Back the other way, and an easy lay. Offensive glass. Bakwe gets another try, and it drops. Bakway, who went for nine points, eight rebounds to lead the team, and three blocks in the game against, the, against Orange at the Dome, and that's Cardoso, who had the position and the basket. Still trying to get to double digits with five and a half minutes to go in our second quarter. Cardoso, the catch, difficult shot, and able to bank it in. And we hope to bring 13 teams to Greensboro for the ACC Women's Tournament. She can get the offensive rebound. It's almost automatic for her. 6-0 run for the Orange. And the lead goes right back up. Thanks to Gabby Green. Couple of three-pointers made by Green, but Syracuse has one at the other end. Syracuse wants to run. Knocked away. Everett hustling with it up past midcourt. Hesitation, drive, Everett, two. Loves the game of basketball, loves people so well. And I have a friend who's on his staff, and she just can't say enough about what it is to work for Lance White. And Jolly Topsy picking up where she left off in the game that these two met back last Thursday. Against this pit program. Pitt would love to change that line. And that's going to help. Struggle with a three straight away. Just won their 10th game of the year in their most recent game in a win against Wake. Angsler steps into the three ball and knocks it down. Big bucket for the Deuce. Right before the horn for Angsler. Monacahi crosses it over. And Cardoso able to calculate the angle off the square. And the assist from Monacahi, 12 points Cardoso. Four of 15 on threes for Pitt. Monacaya works the baseline. Again, it's the combination with Cardoso as the teammates collaborate for another two. All net. She was the ACC freshman of the week after that performance. Six for six from the three-point line, nine for nine total, and Everett weaves her way into the bucket. So Syracuse took 29 possessions to get three field goals in the first half. <laughs> That's five possessions and four field goals in the second half for the Orange. Panthers led 32-30-22 at halftime. They dump it inside. Cardoso hits the court but scores it. A couple things to keep in mind. A win today would be the third in the ACC for Pitt. The most is 2017 and they're crashing the glass. Walk into every game, be it Louisville, NC State, Syracuse, whatever you want, they think that they can win. How about that passing? They find the open person. And they have not struggled against this pressure. 
hanging on to that lead, 41-36, inside of four minutes to go in our third. Angstler is open for three, and she's ripping the ropes for the orange. But she's got the double digits in scoring. Lewis spinning and finding daylight to the rim. And normally, for Pittsburgh to win a game, you'd have to say that Harris would have to be a factor, but she has not. 100%. And Cardoso, another easy look, just a pass above the defense. 18 points for Cardoso. The freshman center. Struther pulls up and rattles it home. Unsuccessfully. And Struther had just hit a shot. I, I don't know why she wanted to pass that one up. Two-pointer from Lewis. Clock is rolling to the fourth. The Orange started one of 18 from the floor since then. 15 of 26, add another one. Single digits in that first quarter. Manakahia slips it inside, and that's two. To number two, Priscilla Williams. Wide open underneath. Engsler slipping around that pit D. And that's a 10-0 run for the Orange. Four kids, three boys and then a little girl. I'm like, I just want my daughter to play basketball all day long with those boys. If, she, <laughs> if anything, like what happened with Tiana. Big Bakway able to clean up the mess underneath. Harris sent it to the corner. Three-pointer green, 61-59. Orange with the basketball and Lewis. On Akanya stepping back and making a three. And big block. Big bucket. Had an eight-point halftime lead. The Cuse led by two after three. Everett for three. She got it. <laughs> it's a one-point game with the missed shot, but just not enough on it. No, last second three from Hayford would not have mattered because the Orange took that four-point yeah. lead, and that is going to do it.